Hey, what's up, everybody? We're Twin Rova. We're here at Maxwell's in Waterloo, and this is Beers with Bands. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. Why don't you introduce yourselves and let us know what you're drinking today? So, I am Devin, and uh, I'm drinking Belgian Moon. Was that the question? What are we drinking? I'm drinking this. I'm Andrew, <laughs> and this is also Belgian Moon. And I got the new Castle Brown over here, which is I've never had that. so good. You'll have to try it later. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys just released a teaser clip of a video yes. from Ace of Ace. Yeah. Um, going forward, if you could cover any other song and do a video to it, what would it be? I thought about this earlier. I was having a conversation with a buddy. I, I have an answer. Okay. My answer would answer. probably be... Probably the call by the Backstreet Boys. That is a good one. Yeah. I was gonna say Pony by Genuine. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, I think a video would be just down for either. <laughs> yeah, I think a video for that would be really funny too. What about campfire songs? What would you sing around the campfire? <laughs> like campfire, like staples? Is that like Kumbaya? Like is that just no? <laughs> Whichever. Oh, just what would you play what, around yeah. a campfire? Pony by Jenny Wine. <laughs> You're better at that. You play acoustic like a lot. Like what are your? I would probably honestly. I do a lot of uh, whenever I'm at the campfire. I'll, I'll do like "Hit Me Baby One More Time" or something like that because it's it is like a great acoustic song, a great song, and something that everyone could sing along to. Even if you were an older generation, you know "Hit Me Baby One More Time." Yeah. And it's a great way to stay in shape. And you you would go ahead with that. I mean, like, when it comes to, like, acoustic stuff for me, like, I just play the emo classics, you know? Oh. All-time low stuff, Blink. They don't have a lot of, like, acoustic stuff, but just Blink songs, all-time low, stuff like that. So what about the first CD you ever owned, or cassette tape? Can you remember back to that? I sure can. <laughs> Go first. Yeah. Okay, so I heard Fat Lip on the radio. Mm. I had no idea what it was. I just knew that it was a rock song and that I liked it. So I literally went to wherever it was, like Zellers or something like that, mm -hmm. a store that sold CDs, and I just picked something out of the rock section that I thought might be the thing. I, I was like 10, mind you, maybe even less. And uh, I ended up buying Conspiracy of One by The Offspring. Oh, okay. And then The Offspring ended up being like a really big deal for me. It was also the first band I ever saw live. Um, yeah. Great band. For me, honestly, like I had two older sisters, so I would say like Backstreet Boys or, th do you remember the Moffats? I do. My sisters were obsessed with the Moffats. So I kind of got like hand-me-downs from them. So I would say either Backstreet Boys or the Moffats. Yeah. And my next question was going to be first concert, but yours was the Offspring? Yeah. Very first. Offspring? Very first one. Yeah. First like go to a venue. Yeah, Offspring. Mine was actually super late in life. Uh, I mean, other than like little concerts that like my dad's a musician, so he used to play concerts all the time, but like, one that I purchased tickets to was Taste of Chaos 2008. I went to that show. Yeah, you were there. That was a wicked show, too. So it was like The Used, Chiodos, uh, 30 Seconds of Mars, Aiden, Seosin. It was a great oh, show. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know you yet. I was just there. Yeah. yeah. We probably saw it. We probably looked exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> and first beers. Do you remember the first beer, alcoholic beverage you maybe drank too Laker much Laker Light. <laughs> what did you say? Laker. Mine was Lake Port Honey. Oh, okay. okay. Lakeport Honey Lager. That was like probably like grade nine or ten. Yeah. Just with my buddies in the basement, which is still like the only way I really do it. I don't. Yeah. yeah. Any good hangover cures? Cures? Yeah. Water. That's the that's the go-to, isn't it? Water, greasy food for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Though, I found that it gets worse the older you get. Oh yeah. Oh, God. absolutely. Yeah. Like if I get a hangover now, even if I'm hydrated, it's a good like two days of misery, roughly. So going forward, uh, <laughs> if you guys got to choose any crazy rider items, what would you put on your list? If we got to choose? Yeah. Ooh. Give me a sec. Um, I would probably have, like, my favorite food. I would just have, like, chicken parm and, like, burritos every night <laughs> until I got sick of them. I like, like, Oreos and milk. <laughs> Oreos and milk. <laughs> just, like, a glass of milk with some Oreos. <laughs> It'd be pretty easy to get. I could do it myself. I could bring it. But, yeah, that, that would be my... Do you want me to go get you some right now? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I can a glass of milk after the... You know. So if you guys got the chance to brew a beer, and it's going to be named after one of your songs, 
and uh, throw in a secret ingredient and style, what would it be? <laughs> Honestly, I would say bad, bad Decisions, which is our first <laughs> single. One. Yeah, because it would, it would have like, I don't know, like cannabis infused or something. So like, you don't know, you drink a couple of those and then you're like, oh no. Like I'm gonna, about to make some bad decisions tonight. Yeah, we could do like an alternate one. Like you could do like a, like a lager and call it bad decisions with your cannabis. And then I'll do like an IPA, also cannabis, but we'll call it the sign. Ah, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anything yeah. else you have to add to no, that? No, I just thought the sign would be funny. I don't yeah, know. Like, I don't yeah. know. Maybe it just makes sense to me. Yeah. And anything coming up for you guys? What's coming up? Uh, so we're playing uh, two shows in Brampton, uh, 19th of July in Garden Square, uh, the 23rd of July, 24th, 24th <laughs> in Garden Square uh, as well. And then uh, we ha are just finishing up our EP, uh, which we're hoping to have finished like, I don't know, middle, late next month. Like we keep changing the date, but it's because we want it to be as good as it can be. And and the Ace of Base cover is coming out. Which so. is amazing. Yeah. Next week, next Friday, July 19th. 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 So to get all the correct details, where can everybody find you on social media? Uh, on <laughs> Facebook, <laughs> facebook.com slash twinrova, which is spelt T-W-N-R-V-A. Right. And then at twinrova on uh, Instagram, Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. yeah. And we're, you can find us at BRX to find all of our interviews. And we're Beers Bands on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks, guys. Thank Cheers. you for having us. Cheers. We Ooh. should pound these. <laughs> hey, we are Twin Rova. And this... Uh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> la, 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 la. All right. This is why I usually do this stuff. Yeah, do you want to do it? You, you do, do it? it. Yeah, I want you to. I'll say the Beers with Bands with Are you ready? I'm ready. Hey, what's up? We're Twin Rova. We're here at Maxwell's in Waterloo. <laughs> we're here. <laughs> okay, I'll try it again. <laughs> yeah.